let's talk about the kind of block chords that were popularized by George Shearing. And these are also known as locked hand style because your hands are going to be moving very close together. The right hand will be playing the melody of a tune on top and then grabbing three other chord tones or good sounding notes underneath the melody. So let's say we have a major scale going down, okay, like this. Convenient, that makes a joy to the world there. Now what, what you can see is in the key to C, I just keep, I'm just keeping the same shape and it makes it pretty easy. Okay, you can also sometimes have a little variety. If you listen to pianists who do block chord style like uh, Oscar Peterson or um, George Shearing, as I mentioned, often these guys will throw in a lot of diminished chords too. And here's a, an exercise where uh, you're gonna take this scale here. It is C major, but it's got the sharp fit there. And I'm going to alternate major six chord, diminished chord, major six, diminished, major six, diminished on the G sharp, major six, diminished, major six. And I'm retracing my steps. So that's got a pretty cool sound, doesn't it? Before we get to the tutorial aspect about playing block chords, how they're different from spread chords, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like it if you like, and I'll see you over there. Bye-bye. Here's Younger Than Springtime, just using the key of C. chords. Now sometimes what you might want to do is, sh I call it a schmaltz, to schmaltz up. So my left hand might do a little, little schmaltz occasionally into some of the chords there. But it's just basically playing the melody an octave lower. Now if I were to add in some diminished chords to this, um, put in one here and then maybe here and this sounds nice there too so you can experiment with some of the inside stuff and the guitar and the vibes in that style quintet would also be doubling the melody so on a tune like robin's nest I can choose to play some of the notes in octaves and then attach chords in my right hand under other notes that are convenient. See how that goes? And then here in octaves, and it's an A flat seven. And then this turnaround here in the melody is E minor. And here's a nice di diminished chord. I should mention that the first person to use this close together block chord style was actually a man named Milt Buckner, who was imitating the horn section in the shout chorus in a band. And then it was George Shearing who popularized the style with his hit song, September in the Rain. These type of block chords where everything is contained within an octave are different from what is known as spread chords, where you have the hands spread out. Um, the right hand would play something in an octave and the left hand would punch along with it. Okay, now both these styles
styles of panel playing really sound best when you got a bass player. Because notice I'm not playing the bottom end of the piano, I'm in the middle, or I'm in the middle and the top here. So they work best in trio settings. sounds good in octave higher. Generally speaking, block chords are used in a jazz piano trio setting with the bass and drums. And um, a good sounding range might be right around the center of the piano. This is middle C, so from here up to here is pretty good. I'd say most of them are uh, centered around here for the richest sound. And I suggest if you haven't seen my block chord tutorial for chords in C major, that you check that out too. Um, briefly, we talked about playing uh, diatonically like this, which just means sticking to the scale, in this case, the C major scale. And then there's also alternating a major six chord with a diminished and add in the sharp five to make the pattern work out. Now, when you play block chords in a minor key, this practice exercise can alternate a minor sixth with a diminished, throwing in the sharp five, First chord is a C minor six, and you're going to be every other note will be an inversion of that, and then this chord is a diminished, and every other um, block will be an inversion of this. I'm going to play the melody to softly as in a morning sunrise using as many minor six chords and diminished chords as I can. enjoy piano music or want tips about arranging improvisation in jazz, church, and many styles, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks!